We are speaking of tshuva ilah, the higher form of return. We call it repentance, but repentance is just getting out of a bad place. We're talking about being in a really good space. So you need both because you can't be in a good space if you didn't get out of a bad place. So we spoke about the negativity that we need to deal with, to own, and to fix what we need to fix. Now we're talking about the higher form of connection, that our spirit is cleaving in the spirit of God. How? Through what we're doing right now, Torah study, and the performance of mitzvahs, kindness. All of that is really something from above to below. See, in the divine connection, there's two directions, above to below and below to above. In other words, two ways to approach this um, connection. So in this instance, what we've have been speaking about is from above to below. What does that mean? Well, I'm saying the words of Tanya right now. They're the words of God that's put into my mouth. I mean, I'm saying it, of course, and I can choose to say or not to say, but the fact is, it's God's words. That's a divine gift from above that God kind of gives us that. In other words, what that means, that divine gift, is what we accomplish merely by the study of Torah is far more than what we put into it. Why? Because from above, from God above, he infuses in there himself, it, right? He, 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 he kind of puts the infinite part of him and con condenses it into finite words but in the end it's him his divine wisdom his divine will it's of him that's something from above that is gifted to us that we have that down here that we can ex express that and have that in our lives likewise through a mitzvah also something from above to below a mere act of putting a coin into the pushka. A mere, you know, act of the act of putting on your tefillin, right? Or going to visit the sick, having guests for your home on Shabbos, you know, the mere act of doing these things is an embrace of God. God embraces us in our acts of kindness. that far exceeds the simple act that we do. That <clears throat> is cleaving from above to below. Meaning, studying, doing the acts of loving kindness, and what we gain, the gift from above, far exceeds what we put into it. But then there is from below to above, what comes from within and moving upwards to connect to the divine, to God, to a higher level of connection of tshuva, of return. And this is not a gift because it's coming from within. It's coming from the context of where I'm at. Just to briefly go back on, on this point that we just mentioned from above to below. Uh, I know that when I study, that what that does for me to uplift me is far and above beyond what I put into it. Because in there, there's the divine. 
divine wisdom, divine will of God. And God gives that, gifts that to, when we study, that just puts it into a different space. We didn't create that. It's a Torah that creates it. And I'm sure you've all experienced it. Excuse me. Likewise, if you've done a mitzvah sometimes that you, of, of, of how that also brings you to a different space that's far and above of what you put into it. But now we're switching gears. We're not talking from above to below what's thrust and given to us as a gift, but what's coming from within us. And where is from within the inner part is our heart, right? Devotion of the heart, which is prayer. It's not the same, it's not gifted then. Because as we know, the difficult, the struggle that there goes on with prayer to be focused, that it should be done in perfect truth, that we love God, the Lord your God, with all your heart, with all your soul. And that likewise, that the words that I command you today shall be upon your heart, again, your heart, and you speak, speak of them, right? That the word of God should be truly in our mouth in a way that we are a vessel for it, that there's no other truth but, God, but the truth of God's Torah. That's not a gift from above. That's something from within me that I have to bring myself gradually up and up, higher and higher to that reality, to that truth, to live with that. And that through the mitzvah, God sanctifies us. Sanctify, again, means that we elevate ourselves, that we elevate ourselves and we become trans transcendent of the human condition, that we're not contained by the nature of this world or the nature of my heart, that we come to a, actually even an appreciation that everything is nothing before God. That's transcending this world and that's holiness. And this is exemplified in davening, in prayer, in tefillah. As we say in prayer, in King David's Psalms, to you, O God, I lift my soul. In other words, it's the initiative of the worshiper in prayer that you raise yourself up to the source of the divine. Right. Likewise, when it comes to mitzvahs, also has that component. Right, when we meditate upon the mitzvah, that through it we cleave to God. So when we meditate upon this idea. That our prayers, that come from within, within our heart, with the love of God, right? That we are from within climbing upwards, and that that would be translated into the study of Torah and the performance of mitzvahs. That's from below to above. That's tshuva ilah, the higher form of tshuva, right? Because remember, tshuva means to return. So now we're taking this return in a deeper way. The return could be just through the study of Torah and doing acts of loving kindness that you're thrust from above, something that you brings you to heightened places beyond what the effort you put in. But then there is another form of tshuva ilah. that comes from within, that brings us from within and expresses itself not just through prayer, primarily through prayer, but brings us also through Torah and mitzvahs in a manner of we are rising above, we're returning 
together with our heart through the prayers and the study of Torah and the mitzvahs that we fulfill.